Dreams Aventura's Riviera Maya has a fun pool with a great entertainment team, lots of kid-friendly activities, and a small cove beach with shallow, calm water. Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie. Welcome to Dreams Aventura's Riviera Maya. Dreams Aventuras is a family-friendly, all-inclusive resort located in the marine community of Puerto Aventuras. When you head in, you'll check in to the desk to the left. You can see I checked in in December of 2023, so everything was decorated for Christmas. They even had this great tree lighting event where they brought in the entertainment staff to do a little dance. They had special cocktails, special snacks. It was really fun. And if you want to make sure you don't miss events like that, be sure to scan the QR code at check-in. That will take you to a website giving you all of the entertainment schedules. It's also posted on TVs around the resort. Heading towards the beach area, if you take a right uh, just past the concierge desk, you'll find the ATM and Desire's nightclub. So this is the nightclub. It stays open late in the evening. It also turned into a sports bar um, during the football game. So they had this open if you wanted to watch football. There is photography services on site. If you want to capture some special memories, you can just check in at that desk right there. Here's the Coco Cafe. This place was always hopping in the evening. It is really the only live lobby bar. Um, so it gets very busy. You can see they have different kinds of snacks, hot pretzels, as well as your typical lattes, hot teas, any kind of coffee drinks. Also up here, we're going to find the Asian cuisine. So this is an Asian a la carte restaurant that was open for dinner. No dining reservations are required. It is first come first serve. They do not have teppanyaki tables. We tried the sushi and it was pretty good. I would say it's kind of like grocery store sushi, nothing, knock your socks off, but I definitely enjoyed it. And then here's a quick quick peek at this side of the resort. The resort has two sides. This is the side for all guests. You can see it has a large pool with swim up bar, a smaller kiddie pool, the beach area, and then heading over where the grill, the market cafe, and the slides are. So let's take a closer look. We'll head down the stairs. You can see there's a gift shop right here to the right. And looking around to the left, this is where you can access the handicap accessible walkway. You do have a zero entry pool on this side. This is very popular with the smaller kids hanging out over here, chairs and umbrellas all around. There is pool service, so bar waiters do come around and get your drink orders. You can see the slides there to the left, and then here is the World Cafe. This is the buffet. It was open for breakfast and lunch during our stay. And let's take a peek at the lunch buffet. So over here, you can see all kinds of sweet treats, including candy, marshmallows, different types of pastries, cookies. I think it's so funny that that's the first thing you encounter. This is kind of the kids section. So they had smaller sandwiches, chicken nuggets, uh, French fries, the bakery, they had fresh baked rolls and loaves of bread, and then all the different hot dishes. So these are the typical, some were American, Mexican, all different kind of things. There were some grill items made fresh to order, uh, your fried food section, you also have charcuterie with your meats and cheeses, uh, different kinds of freshly prepared salads, and also chips and dips. So there's that water slide I was talking about, so that keeps the kids busy as well. I love this little turtle. So this is kind of the baby pool. You can see why it's very shallow and kind of away from the others. And there's also this small shallow pool. This is where a lot of the families with smaller kids were hanging out during our stay. There is a swim up bar. Um, you can see it's up there to the left as we head towards uh, oh, there's a closer look at the swim-up bar. Um, this also is one of the bars open late in the evening, but there isn't a lot of seating around here. Seaside Grill is another of the a la carte dinner options. So this is kind of going to be your option for a steakhouse here. They don't have a true steakhouse, but this is any types of grilled meats you can find here. There is a ping pong table right outside the bar. So one thing I will say about this resort, it is kind of hard to find a place to hang out at night because there isn't really a lobby bar. Um, that's one negative, I would say. But here's the beach. So you can see there's plenty of shade available, chairs available, and then the beach. The beach is enclosed by basically a rock wall. And then on the right side behind that palapa, the ocean water comes in. It is very shallow um, all the way out to the walls. And here is the weather is nice. They will have their shows outside. They do have an indoor theater. I'll show you later. But I thought that was wonderful. We had a mariachi band and then a Mexican show that were all out here. Back at the end of the 
um, beach is kind of this is their barefoot grill it has pastor tacos do not miss these these are delicious they can also make it into a pizza for you if you ask it's not on the menu um, so you have pizzas burgers hot dogs tacos and there's always a fajita of the day here at that grill walking around pack Past the slide, we're going to find Portofino. This is the a la carte Italian restaurant. It's really pretty inside. Um, it has indoor and outdoor seating and has all of your Italian favorites. So here's the outdoor seating, and it's really, really pretty at night. Um, there's a nice breeze that comes off the ocean. So here's a picture kind of at night. Sorry, it's a little blurry. Um, but we had a great meal here. I really enjoyed the salad and then um, that was dressing, not an egg. I had a risotto. It was a little bit firmer than, you know, a typical Italian risotto, but it was still very good. The pesto pasta was very good. Um, so I definitely would come here if you like Italian favorites. And this was the chicken. The chicken was delicious. Heading around past the Italian restaurant, there's more beach area on this side. This tends to be a little bit quieter because you're a little bit further away from everything in the resort. You'll find El Patio, which is the Mexican a la carte restaurant. And I love the decoration in here. So it's got the high ceiling, the tree in the middle. They really want you to get the feeling of Mexican culture. Heading on to there, you'll find the wedding gazebo. There were several weddings during our stay. Now, weddings do kind of take over this swim up bar, just to let you know. Um, there's about 30 or 40 people, but they were really fun. And we had a great time getting to know uh, everybody in the wedding party. Uh, coming around, if you keep going, I don't think a lot of people knew this was here. There's even more chairs. Now, you can't access the ocean here. There's a rock wall, but you have a beachfront uh, bar and then lots of chaise loungers. If you just want a chill spot to read and enjoy, of course, you have those swings. And then looking out of here, there is a saltwater pool there, but that is not part of the resort. It actually belongs to the house that is right next door. So don't be tempted. All right, we're going to head back to the main area of the resort. You can see they have some kayaks available if you want to do some non-motorized water sports. Now, just we're coming around the back of Seaside Grill now. We're back to the main pool and the swim-up bar. I wanted to give you a peek at those swim-up rooms coming around the side of Seaside Grill. This is where we're going to find the rooftop terrace and the kids' club. So here you can see they have all kinds of fun Christmas decorations for the Explore Club. These, this is supervised kids' activities throughout the day. You can drop them off. Inside the Explorers Club, there's a small splash park with slides, but not all the activities take place here. When we were there, they organized this really cool movie night on the beach for families. So always check that QR code. Just past the Explorers Lounge, you're going to see a set of stairs. If you head up there, there's this great rooftop terrace that is terrific for private events. And this just gives you a peek at this side of the resort. So this is the side that's open to everyone. Now we're going to head back under those stairs that came down from the lobby and we're going to walk through the building. So right now we're underneath kind of where the Coco Cafe is on the P level. There's the elevator that goes up to the rooms and the lobby. You have your wedding showroom. This is where you would meet with the staff if you're planning your wedding here. Ultimate Unlimited Vacation Club is kind of their timeshare membership prepay for your vacation program. They will approach you while you are here. Coming around, we're gonna find the preferred area of the resort. So preferred club is a special room category you can book with extra perks. One of those perks is this area. So look, they have your sunscreen and your books, your towels. They have pool butlers that help you get set up here in this pool area. Lots of umbrellas if you want some shade and lots of vegetation. I think they did a really good job landscaping here. And then you have a small swim up bar. This is really, really small area. It definitely was full during our visit. Heading over the bridge, we find Oceana. Now, Oceana is open to everyone for dinner and preferred club guests for breakfast. So this is the breakfast setup. We did go there for dinner and it was our best meal. I had terrific salmon. If you like seafood, you definitely want to make sure to stop here. And then this was, it was almost, it was like a grouper um, that my husband had that was really good. So walking past Oceana, you can see those are members of the public out there because this is part of the marina uh, community. And then you have your whirlpool to the back. Now coming, we went up a level. So we're now on the lobby level just to show you a couple of the gift shops that I kind of left out. And um, so you can have anything you might have forgotten, a drugstore and souvenirs. If you go 
up the ramp that's right next to the lobby area, this is how we're gonna find the theater. So it takes a little bit. So go down the very long hallway, and at the end of the hallway, there's a set of glass doors, and this will lead you into the theater. Now, like I showed you earlier, during our stay, the shows were outside because the weather was so great. If you find room 152, you are on your way to the spa. Spa services are not included, but they do have a very nice spa. You can have a hydrotherapy session with the steam room and sauna. That is an extra charge. You can book it separately or as part of a massage and facial. And then they have the cold plunge pools, the warm pools um, with all the different bubbles. And a beauty salon and manicures, pedicures, and if you wanted to get your hair done. Now we took the elevator up to floor number six. This is where the preferred club lounge is located. This is another one of those perks for booking preferred club. And you head down this very long hallway and you'll end up inside the preferred club lounge. So one of the perks is you have these snacks available throughout the day, kind of like almost your personal mini buffet. You have upgraded alcohol choices with your own bartender. Now let's check out one of the rooms. This was just a regular junior suite located with a marina view. So you have a small sofa there that would pull out. This is a king size bed. You have tables on both sides with plugs on both sides. You, We have plenty of room for our luggage, a small little desk area. It wasn't super comfortable for working, a television. I love that there's hooks in the room. I think so many hotels do that wrong. And then you have your little mini bar set up with your mini coffee maker. And then of course your mini bar. This is replenished daily with sodas, beers. These were Dos Equis, waters. Out on the balcony, you can see this overlooked the preferred club pool. So this is a marina view because you are looking out over the marina. You can see um, the kind of the marina water traffic there just behind the preferred club pool. So a really good sense there. And then the swim ups down below for preferred club. You do get robes in the room as well as a steamer, a safe, a stand up shower, the shower was a little low for me, to tell the truth, um, but it was nice having two sinks. Um, they do provide shampoo, conditioner, soap, so you don't need to bring any of that if you're not picky. All right, heading down to floor number three, we're going to look for the fitness center as well as the core zone teens area. So coming off the elevators, you're going to head to the right. It'll take you through the rooms and head through this door. And here is the fitness center. So this is included and available to everyone. You can see it has you know, what you would need. It has free weights. It has some of the pulley machines as well as treadmills and ellipticals. Just down the hall is the core zone. So this is where the teens could hang out. They did open it to everyone late in the evening because I think adults really want to be <laughs> in here too because there's a pool table, there's archery back there, video games, and ping pong. So that is Dreams Aventurous. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you are ready to book, email Angie at tripswithangie.com.